The fingerprint stone shield, it's one of the best pieces of gear in Elden Ring and used by plenty of players in PvP for that exact reason. In fact, it could be considered too overpowered in the current meta, but until the devs decide to nerf the stats of it, players will continue to use it for their builds. If you equip it and combine it with a thrusting sword that deals a status effect over time, mainly poison buildup, that allows you to attack enemies and deal damage over time without having to lower your shield. And with the insane defensive stats it has, you are very tough to defeat except for a few specific circumstances, like users who are using dual whips, for example. Let us then look over the stats on why the shield is so powerful, but most importantly, how to get this awesome piece of gear for your PvE and PvP builds. The Fingerprint Stone Shield, a great stone shield with an intricately carved fingerprint design, one of the heaviest of all great shields. Part of the tomb of an ancient god, the readerless fingers relayed their message through these imprints, said to be the very seeds from which Frenzy first sprouted. For the shield's skill, you can brace behind the shield before using your body weight to round foes while maintaining guard stance. Weaker enemies will be shoved backwards and can get even staggered, and the shield also has a passive skill that causes madness buildup, so it has a lot going for it. For the stats, the Fingerprint Stone Shield is a shield that scales primarily with strength and does big physical damage, but as a shield you want to use it mainly for blocking, and this one has 100% physical damage negation. Along with this, you get a decent magical and elemental damage negation as well, in fact it's the highest or second highest for most of the negation stats for those. Another key to the shield's success is its guard boost stat. The stat determines the amount of stamina consumed when blocking damage, and it has the highest of any of the shields in-game. Ultimately, the reason the shield is the current meta is that it has no real weaknesses. Maybe its weight at 29 can be considered a weakness, but the shield does negate over 80% of damage received and consumes very little stamina as well, and that's why plenty of players are using them. Let's take a look at how to get this piece of gear. To find the Fingerstone shield, it's a bit of a journey to the subterranean world of Leandel. Start from the East Capital Rampart and make your way into the underground through the well. Travel to reach the subterranean Shunning Grounds Grace Point, and then you must make your way from here through the sewers. Drop down the grate and into the pipe on the right. Walk and jump over the first two holes in the ground, and when you reach a gate, you can turn right and continue on to a ladder with an enemy above it. Climb to reach a door next to a statue. In the next room, don't go down the stairs on the right. Instead, drop down first and then go down those stairs. Drop down to head to the door under the stairs. Travel past the evil death frogs and to a room with an enemy and a ladder. Climb the ladder. You might need to kill this enemy first if you don't have high enough vigor to ward off his attacks. And then once you reach the top across the bridge to the door, you can open that to reach the subterranean grace point in which we were at earlier. But now the door is open. You can skip all the previous stuff if you die and then simply head through this door from the grace point. Okay, head back through the door and run across the bridge and up the pipes past all the goblins and you can jump into another pipe. Head down and reach a ladder and a room with pots and there will be an elevator down. Here you'll have to defeat the alternate Moog boss, and once he's defeated, you can hit the wall behind the chest to reveal a secret passage. Now, to reach the shield, we have to do what is probably one of the most difficult things in Elden Ring, jump down these tombstones without dying. If you're having trouble, you can use different things to help you, like you can use the jumping backwards trick to help you out if you want, but try to go exactly where I go in order to reach the bomb.
Once you've reached the bottom floor, the shield is located right here. So guys, that is it for a look at one of the best shields in Elden Ring for the current version 1.0.3 and how to get the shield for your PvP and PvE builds. Combine it with any piercing weapon with a status effect like poison and you're good to go. And if you want to see more of these types of videos on the location and an overview of the best gear in game for the current meta, and more importantly how to get those pieces of gear, then like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below on what you want to see a guide on next, and I will see you in the next one.